Hi, my name is Mirko Hensken and today I would like to show you the new multi-texture tiler plugin, a plugin to automatically load multiple textures on different UV areas. This model consists of different UV sets, for, for example a UV island for the body is located up here and a UV island for the head we will see in a minute. Yeah, the UV island for the head is located here and it's the same with the eyes and with the breast. When you have multiple texture sets you want to apply lots of different textures with different texture sizes and normally you would start to open the material editor, create a composite material, add a layer and then add another layer and another layer and you also have to turn the tiling off and then you start to change the offset for example um, my dress or my, my the body of this is located in I think U1 and V4 3 yeah, and this is pretty painful if you imagine that you would have to do it for five materials or five textures and maybe you also have bump textures and specular textures and maybe you even don't have five textures, maybe you have 26 or 44, whatever. And this would become pretty painful and the composite material would become pretty slow at this point because you always have to add new layers and stuff. And that's why I've written the multi-texture tiler plugin which works equally but not totally the same. So at first of all I will create a new multi-texture tiler map which is located here in the material editor if you loaded the plugin and what you can see now is a matrix based upon 100 panels 10 by 10 and you also see the display options. So when you start the plugin, there's always use preview images uh, turned on and refresh grid is not um, important at this point. So what you will have to do then is to select the texture folder where your where all your textures for the object or the objects are located in. So that's why I will switch to C and we will see the test folder. It will take a while. Uh, depending on the size of your textures and now you can see a thumbnail of your textures if the multi-texture tiler doesn't support the texture format for previewing then it turns the square red in this mode and you can also turn use preview images off and then it turns green and this is good if you have big textures like 8k by 8k then you can speed up the loading process so I will click on use preview images and then I will click on this map because I'm not sure what it is. Oh yeah, it's the head. It's pretty ugly as you can see. I can turn it off by right clicking on the same image or by right clicking anywhere on the matrix. Yeah, same for the eyes. Left click, right click. If you click on one of those cells, then you will see or you will notice the name of, of the texture map in the upper part of the multi-texture tiler same here same here but not here yeah and that's pretty it so we only have to use the material on all those objects like turn that off select everything and turn it on assign to selection and you notice that it becomes black because the multi-texture tiler plugin is not supported in the viewport click on render it will start rendering. And now you can see these are all the textures we defined earlier. Yeah, hooray! Here we can see the green texture from the body, the ugly texture from the head, the eye textures and the skirt texture. And of course the multi-texture tiler works also with specular or bump maps or whatever you can imagine. So I put on the specular level, I render it again, a very shiny alien girl. The only additional thing I want to mention is the Refresh Grid buff. This is used if you add a new texture to the currently used folder of the multi-texture tiler plugin. Paste. And then nothing happens here, but you can use this button and then you will see the new texture 
there's one restriction to the texture tiler and I will show you now. So as you can see you can use any name but you will have to use a number consisting of four digits like 0, 1 that's for the U direction, 0 and whatever you want, 1 for example, this would be this texture. You can also recognize those little numbers in here. It makes it easier for you to define on which cell which texture has to go. Another example, 003, would be this one. So keep in mind, if you want to use the multi texture tiler and you don't see any of those textures, then it might be a problem with your number because you always have to go with zero, number, zero, number. And that's it. This. So I would like to thank you for your attention and I hope you might use this texture plugin in the future.